What's up? Alexa, stop. Who oh, no. I would use Zoom as a, a recording uh, opportunity of only myself. This is Hey Buddy Fit. Hey Buddy is about to, Hey Buddy is busy. Buddy is, Buddy is busy. But we are all always busy. So I try to maintain my, do I say, um, um, patience <laughs> to wait, even though they are busy. Because if one person does not wait for the other person, they may never continue with the uh, with their intentions as they will always be pulled in other directions. <laughs> oh, I took the wrong one. I wanted the eucalyptus. I got lavender hair. I'm into aromatherapy. A little lavender. This guy said he didn't like my smell. So guess what? I meant the smell of lavender. I mean, who doesn't like lavender? All right, I gotta hold down this Hey Body Fit time. We have, um, I, I like to cut out time and keep that time. So um, for Hey Body Fit today, it was going to start at 9 a.m. And of course, we're still settling in at 9. Um, uh, but I'm giving it up until 10. So dude has time to show up. In the meantime, I can do this. It's just a little easier when there's a conversation. Um, when I'm not, I didn't have something prepared, like a monologue. It's not prepared. But I'm going to go ahead just because what I've been doing is keeping my word. So if I said every single day I'm going to do, and I get up in my doorway, and I get up fit, and then I get up uh, 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 nourishment, then that's what I'm doing. And if once a week I said I'm going to put in a hey body fit, I will put in a hey buddy fit. Just it looks like I'm down a buddy. That's okay. I'm a buddy. I'm like so. I could start with how the name hey buddy fit came up. So I was never one to be excited when talking to people. I said hey buddy, but the other guy that's supposed to be on right now, he is that guy. He smiles real big and brings such a light to the world. Let's say nice things about him. He's not here. He, so he and I met when we were about 15 years old. And, since, and then we lost touch for a little bit. Oh my God. This goes back to AOL days. Okay. And then he saw my screen name years later on. And I'm skipping some of the story. Oh, uh, and he asked, like, if it was me. But I really, I'm skipping some of his story. And so then I was like, oh, hey. And then, so we had met, we had lost touch, and then reconnected a year, maybe two later. I have no idea, it could have been months. And when we reconnected, we just started talking and he let me be in his ear for years and years and years while he was gaming. He would have his little headset on for gaming. And I would hear the tow, poo, poo, pow, poo, choo, poo, ha, 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 like street fighter, fighting, whatever it was. And um, I was going through a lot as a young teenager. And he just provided a listening ear, lots of good advice. He let me know the truth, even if it, you know, somebody that tells you the truth, even if it's going to hurt you, not to hurt you, 
but so that you can realize the hard truth and then uh, make better decisions according to um, what the truth is, what you don't want to see and what you don't want to see about people. Um, at the same time, I didn't share everything. And I always acted like I got it, I got it. And I didn't want to bring people down. So I didn't always share things. And so he didn't know some things. So there just wasn't some things he could help with because I didn't share it. And there were years and years and years of this, of just uh, support. And I've seen him now. So we were 15. It's a lot of years. 25. <clears throat> um, a lot of years have passed so of um, this friendship, buddyship, and um, you know, we would show up to certain things for each other. Um, we, um, I'm trying to leave some of my life private but shared some other things, you know, and no, you don't. And then um, just throughout life and then um, just good people that enjoy hearing from each other. Over the years, I've become less and less because we're older adults now with other responsibilities, obligations, and, and he's sharing himself with the world. Um, but I, I always told him like, especially what he did for me and the way he's able to help people in the light, um, in his eyes and his smile, um, he really lifts people. He has been lifting people from then. He always has gone through his own personal hardships and, and continued if it meant. I didn't know he could be even stronger and brighter than he already was. And he has continued to do so. Um, and, and be incredibly shocking and just um, now, you know, when, when he would settle for different things and different people, I would always be like, buddy, no, this, you know, this is really good for you. You know, you're doing very, very good but I would like to see you, you know, you really have a real gift. I would like to see you do more with that. Oh, I thought he was joining. <laughs> and so, um, um, and I would say I would want to see you do more with that. And um, he loves to help people. And little by little, he found his way. He found his people, he found his, I mean, he had a whole life I didn't even know of all in the martial arts world. He did not share that. I, I probably knew he was taking some classes. I didn't know he was like a dumb man, the boss at it, kept that on the low. <clears throat> Until recently, um, we both separately got bo into personal training. Um, but when I found out he was, we spent a little time to study real quick and I shared with him anything that I knew about it. And not really looking at the screen and just thinking the thoughts are in here. And so I'm trying to remember. Um, what else about him? So martial arts, he's into kickboxing. Um, he got, he ended up getting certified. He also got his uh, nutrition certification and he's so full of love and so much love to give and tries to do the right thing and tries to, when one is looking for what the right thing would be to do, he does his best to guide others. And I know he's a mentor, um, which I learned from his Instagram because he does not share with words all his greatness he just he's just busy being himself and you're lucky if you get to cross paths with him because he's he really um it's, it's hard to find people like that well, i got lucky basically um at the same time 
because he knows his power is um and now uses it with the world i i don't i don't get vip access up on the you know while he's gaming and i could call whenever and he'll have his little headphones on and gaming and let me just be in his ear and try to say whatever now it's now it's oh buddy um i have somebody coming but <clears throat> I'm gonna put reschedule question mark. No, I shouldn't. This is how it's going. See, buddy, that's his actual name from me. And it's because I didn't even say why. Um, one of his jobs was to deliver things to people and and I would be on the phone on his little headset and he would give everybody the same love, the same energy and be like, hey, hey, buddy, hey, buddy. I just heard him saying, hey, buddy, to everybody. So I started saying, um, and, he's, and he would say it to me. So I would say, hey, buddy. That's why it's hey, buddy, fit. Um, we both grew into adults, into heavy, into fitness. And you might not, you might only see the heavy part on me, but fitness, there, a few years ago, you could see the fitness part. And I think I'm gonna, he might still try to come on. So I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer, um, probably till 920. And then I gotta wrap up this time that I set for him too and move on with my own thing. So, cause if I know him, if you don't catch him now, if you don't, like I'm a planner. So I plan and I keep my word. He, if you don't catch him, like if you're not already a regular client, have met in person, um, have that bond now and like catch him almost like on a whim. If, if, if I'm not on the, you know how the wit, the break, this is the breeze. <sighs> if I don't catch that flow or the wave, okay? Yep, surfing. If I don't catch it, that's it. He's gonna laugh real hard at this little video. Okay. Time to repeat, huh? So this is a health and fitness page. So I just uh, introduced you to Buddy. He doesn't have a name. That's his name, his buddy. And so one thing that we're going to do with this Hey Buddy Fit is, well, right now, I'm very interested in asking him questions and hearing and listening to his responses. And um, he used to, to interviews of people, which I really, really enjoy listening to. I thought he was really, really good. When I talk to him and ask him questions, I'm not thinking, oh, I'm interviewing him. I'm thinking I'm talking to my buddy, genuinely asking questions that I'm genuinely interested in hearing him talk about. Um, but uh, when he does his interview questions, he had like a podcast or something. I remember I, I was traveling. I was waiting for a plane or so at some point, and I was listening to his podcast. And I didn't even know my my buddy is so talented because he too genuinely loves connecting with people and hearing what they have to say and learning from them and growing with them in the moments that they have while connecting with words or no words in exercise. I don't know. I didn't actually get to be in his presence now for oh damn, over a year. Oh, maybe about a year. Um, I always try to make sure I don't miss the birthdays unless I'm feeling a little salty that year. So 
So I'm I'm gonna write that I'm gonna move on from this at 9:30. I'm I'm going to I'm to I'm going to move on from this at nine thirty. If you don't show up. It sounds like I'm like being abrupt and rude, but he doesn't even know all the nice things I just said. And he'll probably never know. He's a busy guy. And I'm not telling him. Mm -mm -mm. So one thing that I would like to talk about in Hey Buddy Fit, because we're both certified personal trainers, is just talk about muscles, you know, like all day, because why not? The whole session is going to be like, okay, the three common distortion patterns, uh, pronation distortion syndrome, upper cross syndrome, lower cross syndrome. What muscles are the tight muscles and which ones are the loose muscles contributing to pronation distortion syndrome? First of all, explain what pronation distortion syndrome is. Pronation distortion syndrome is when there are inward knees and outward toes. The tight muscles causing, poten potentially causing inward knees and outward toes are gastrocnemius, soleus, which are the calves, peroneals on the side, um, TFL or your, or your IT band. IT band is uh, like the tendon um, at the end of the TFL, which is the tensor fascia lata. And um, the biceps femoris is tight, the adductors are tight, and the hip flexors are tight. And you can see how this would cause that knee to go inward. And the loose muscles are. Um, anterior tibialis, posterior tibialis, gluteus medius, gluteus maximus. And I think that I'm going to stop there for now because that's the one that I'm working on. And the reason why I'm working on that one to start with um, for myself is because those are my feet and those are my legs. Feet, legs. So those are the ones carrying all of this good stuff around. So those are not strong enough. They're falling, feeling weak and falling apart, which honestly, this getting older thing, things you didn't know you had, or will, you'll realize you had it because it's not there. How about that? So I'm talking about the muscles in my feet. And now I have like a little bit of a falling arch. And that's why on my balance exercise, I try to use the muscle of my foot to hold up like this. And um, what do you call it? Physical therapy. One exercise that I loved was to take the marbles out of the little bucket, actually one foot at a time, and one marble at a time with my toes, grasp it, and take it out. They had to put like 50 marbles in there. Grab and release. So you would go in the bucket, grab, take it out of the bucket, release. Go in the bucket, grab, out of the bucket, release. That's what I did with my toes. And that helps strengthen the muscles in the foot. And so I'm starting with, with from the feet now up the legs. So all of those muscles that I named are all, you know, lower leg, upper leg. Um, the tight ones and um, the loose ones um, into uh, the buttocks, right? So because I said gluteus medius, gluteus maximus. And also that's part of the core. So um, and if your core is the center of gravity, we need all of that. Oh, we need all of it. But you got to start somewhere because once you start tuning in, I think that's what's devastating to people and something to run from. If 
goes on forever and this alone goes on forever and ever the information and still you know so many so much more to life unanswered oh i think i'm gonna leave it there on a like wandering note yep and leave buddy be in his own little world on the reality it's not a bad idea right leave people in reality all right so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up um if i know him he's gonna be caught up and uh possibly not even you know we, we're expected to know each other now so this is what it is um i'm gonna say hey buddy get it 